In today's episode of Hypixel Skyblock Hardcore, I first acquire a pet that took me six hours straight of mining in order to get the materials for. And later on in the episode, I suit up once again for a dragon fight and continue my hunt for superior dragons. But before the episode begins, only 32% of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this series and have not done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And without further ado, let's get into today's episode. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Hypixel Skyblock Hardcore Series. And since the last episode of my Hardcore Series, something very big has happened and that is Hypixel has dropped the Pets V2 update. And with that Pets V2 update has come a ton of new pets, a ton of new items, even a new mini boss, a bunch of crazy stuff. So we're going to be exploring a little bit of that update today. First off though, in the last episode, if you guys remember, I did place down like six carrot menus or something in preparation for this update dropping and I actually ended up being right about them dropping the pet food with the update here you can see it's now called carrot candy but it does give your pet XP so like here you can see great carrot candy gives 50,000 pet XP but that is a lot of enchanted carrots right there and 50,000 pet XP is really not that much like you can probably get that in way less than an hour even but there was one thing in particular with this update that was very very interesting to me and to show you guys what that is I'm gonna head over to the auction house here and that was this pet right here the endermite pet Pet. And the ability I was really interested in was this pearl muncher here that you can see says upon picking up an ender pearl consume it and gain 5.1 coins and that is at level one at level 100. I think you get 12 coins per every ender pearl you pick up, which for the average player may not even be that great of a money making method. But you guys probably know on this hardcore series, I struggle to make myself any coins because of the fact that I don't use auction house or bazaar. And so this ender my pet could be huge for me because I have to grind a lot of summoning eyes since I place four eyes for every single dragon I fight, which means I pick up a lot of ender pearls. So this could be a potential for me to make a ton of coins from something I already do a bunch. So it's just like free coins basically unfortunately though the mystery endermite pet has quite the expensive crafting recipe costing eight stacks of enchanted endstone which is why initially the first day this update dropped I put up a ton of endstone minions here, got them all to tier five and let them get to work. But after a full day of letting them work, I only had like a stack and a half of enchanted endstone. And since I can't use auction house or bazaar, I knew I had to take things into my own hands. So I went into the end here and I literally just started mining endstone. And I just kept doing this and kept doing this again. And I actually ended up mining endstone for probably about five hours straight yesterday. I mined so much endstone that this legendary silver fish pet I had, which was like level 10 or something before, got all the way up to level 53. I gained 350,000 mining XP when I started. I had just hit mining 22, um, which may not seem like a lot for pretty much five hours of work, but endstone is not an efficient method of getting mining XP. So 350,000 is quite a bit. And finally, after all that mining and my minions continuing to work for me during the time I was mining and then overnight, I have ended up with the eight stacks of enchanted endstone that I need to craft this pet. And I have also left my two high tier chicken minions here so I can continue to collect enchanted eggs for the super egg. So we do have our super enchanted egg here as well. And we're going to craft this thing right now. Now, the good thing about this endermite pet is even if I get the epic version, it's not a big deal because it still has the ability I want. Although I probably would prefer the legendary pet because it has another cool ability where you speed up as you collect those pearls. But either way, I'm fine. Let's go ahead, click this thing put it in our inventory. Okay, we got the epic. Again, would have preferred the legendary, but the epic is totally fine. And this is even less of a big deal now because of this new NPC cat that was added with the new update. Because as you will see, when I put my endermite in here, she will actually upgrade the endermite pet for another 512 enchanted endstone and 250,000 coins, but it'll take seven days to upgrade it. And I also need to get to taming level 20 and I'm currently only like level 18, I think. But if I ever really feel like I want a legendary endermite, I have the option to upgrade here. Anyway, I definitely want to do a money-making test with this brand new endermite pet to see if I made a good decision here. But first I want to level it up a little bit past level one. So I'm going to go ahead, hop into my cobble generator here and farm some mining XP with it for a little bit. All right guys, in about 40 or so minutes of mining later, I got it up to level 30. So now every time I pick up an ender pearl, 
it'll consume it and give me 7.1 coin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this money test, just grinding some zealots. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit all the coins I currently have on me into my bank, just so we can kind of start from zero. And I'm also gonna be using my Raider's Axe for this test because I mean, I can one shot with the Raider Axe anyway. So there's really no point in not using it because it's just free coins, which honestly, this is a strategy I think a lot of mid game players don't use and they really should be using. Cause even though it might be more fun to use like your shiny AOTD or whatever you have, it just makes more sense to use the Raiders Axe if you can one shot with it because you're just gonna be making more coins that you otherwise wouldn't. All right, so let's see, right now I'm at 941. If I kill a Zealot, I go up to about 1,090. So I guess I'm getting like 150 coins per killer. So that actually seems like a lot. And I also want to be killing watchers as I run around as well, because these guys will drop ender pearls as well, which is obviously just like more free money. Honestly though, this does not make a great lobby. There's a bit too much competition. I'm going to try to find a bit of a better lobby, but then I'll do like a 20 minute test or so to see how much money I can make. All right guys, so first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to run around and just kill the 9k health enderman for a little bit to see if maybe this is like a viable money strat on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and test this for 10 minutes. Um, so we're currently at 6,313 coins. Coins. Let's see where we're at when the 10 minutes is up. All right, guys, so about 10 minutes later, we are at 63,512 coins, which means in that 10 minutes, we made about 57,000 coins. So over the course of full hour, we'd only be looking at about like 300 to 350,000 coins, which is not good. You can make that much money just farming pumpkins. So the pet is definitely not self-sustaining for money if you're just straight up killing Endermen with it. But I'm now gonna go ahead and test it on Zealots and Watchers, which is obviously the one that I really care about because for me, I need my summoning eyes to spawn dragons for the series so I can get dragon armor. And for those of you out there who play on like regular profiles and stuff, you probably already farm summoning eyes because it's a really good way of making money. So if you can make a pretty decent amount of extra money by just having an Enderman pet in your inventory, then why wouldn't you do it? So I am currently at 66,000 coins. Let's go ahead and start the 10 minute test and see what we're at um, when it's over. All right, so after 10 minutes, I am now at 106,000 coins. So I think I made about 40,000 coins. Definitely less than like the 55,000 or so I made farming the 9K health Enderman, but honestly, not as big of a difference as I would have initially thought because I'll be honest, for like the first four to five minutes of this test, I was not getting very many zealot kills at all. Now towards the end of the test here, I've definitely gotten into a better rhythm. I've kind of just been farming like the backside of the dragon's den here and I've been able to get more kills. But at the beginning, I was competing with so many people in young armor who were just like stealing everything that I was pretty much only getting watcher kills. I was getting no zealot kills. So yeah, at 40,000 coins every 10 minutes over the course of a full hour, that's an extra 240,000 coins, which honestly might not seem like much, but if you're spending hours and hours every single day farming summoning eyes for money, that's honestly not a bad amount of coins to kind of just be getting as a bonus for not much effort at all. It is worth mentioning though that not all of those coins are coming from the Endermite pet. Um, obviously, 20 coins every single time I get a kill is also coming from the Raider's Axe, but I do think that the Endermite pet is contributing a fair bit of the coins that I'm getting. It is also worth noting though that my Endermite pet is only level 32 at the moment, so if you have a level 100 Endermite pet, you'd be getting 14 coins um, for every single Ender Pearl it consumes, as opposed to the seven I'm getting right now. So you would likely be able to make closer to four to 500,000 coins every single hour using a high level pet as well as the Raider's Axe. But yeah, for me personally, I'm really happy with it. Any way I can make extra coins doing the things I already have to do is gonna be a great thing for me. All right guys, so I actually continued to grind summoning eyes for a little bit longer. If I go into my Ender Chest here, you'll see I now have five summoning eyes. So I got four summoning eyes and I kind of just kept going. I got like this first summoning eye, like uh, I think like my 600. Then I got this one at like 70. Then I got one at like 110, then like 25. So I was like, wow, I'm just gonna keep going, man. Today's my lucky day. But if you direct your attention to the top right-hand corner of my screen, you'll see I'm currently at 1,121 zealots since my last eye. So I don't know exactly what happened to the good luck I was having before, but clearly it's gone. So I was planning on just going until I finally got this eye, but the number just keeps going up and up and up and no summoning eyes. So I'm like, I just need to take a break. Hypixel does not want me to get another summoning eye today. 
On the bright side though, if you look at my piggy bank, I did make 563,000 coins, which is not too shabby at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit that into my bank. But we obviously do have more than four summoning eyes, so we can go ahead and do our dragon for today. I just need to go ahead and get geared up for it. I'll find a party and we'll hop into the fight. All right, boys, I got a party. Let's go ahead and do this drag fight. I'm super excited. Hopefully we get a good dragon. I feel like it's been a little while since we've gotten like a really nice dragon. So we'll see how it goes today. We will switch to my tarantula set here. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and pot up really quickly. Get that crit three, that strength five, that archery three. Okay, today I need to do good on my sorting drags. I did not do good last time. We always have the cushion of placing four eyes, but you know, I just feel embarrassed when you guys see me do really, really bad. We have a ton of remnant of the eyes, so no matter what, we shouldn't take too much damage. I also, oh, my AOTE, no, no, my, is my AOTE in here? Yes, okay, there we go. Old drag, yike, okay. It is not a good one. I guess it'll be good practice for us today at least though. Not the drag I was hoping for though, that's for sure. I mean, this is literally just gonna basically be a practice dragon because this is not a drag I wanted to fight. Oh, we've had such bad dragons recently, man. Okay, I didn't go there. I know it was close, but it wasn't a fireball. So I'm trying to just get my mechanics down. They say not to go when it's not a fireball. Okay, me and this guy are literally jumping in, in like in, directly into each other. So I'm gonna switch out there. Let me go ahead and switch to that. Oh shoot, it's fireballing. It's so far away. I, 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 you know, honestly, so mechanically the right thing to do there would have been to jump, but I would kind of missed the beginning of it and it was so far away. It, I probably would have wasted so much mana and not got much out of it. So I think it was the smarter decision for me to not TP there. I definitely do need to get better at doing the drags though, man. I've kind of like abandoned the whole sword swapping concept because it's easier for me to just focus on the sorting when I don't have to also focus on trying to sword swap as well. One of these days, though, guys, I'm gonna become like a mass. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, we, we, oh, wait, we did okay. I got blasted back. I think I must have got hit by one of the fireballs. Can I get up here again, though? Okay, that was not bad. Hey, that was not bad. We used up, like, all our mana. Okay, I need to AOT back up here. I used up, like, all my crits on our mana, but we got some pretty decent hits. We're gonna hit almost a mil damage here. Nothing crazy, but you know what? I'm kind of proud of myself there. Position set. Oh, my God. Wait. Dude, some guys that we were not partied with did a lot of damage. I hope I did not get fragged out of that. Okay, I did not. Old dragon leggings. Wait, actually, that's not bad. We already had the chest plate, so we don't have to trade this one in today. We actually do get a new piece finally in some leggings. Uh, maybe it would have been nice to get an AOTD there or something that we could have given away to the viewers, but uh, is what it is. All right, guys, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode. Really quickly, though, if you like my hardcore cape that you can see featured right here, all the information on how to get it will be in the top line of the description. I know I mentioned this in the last episode as well, but just in case you happen to miss that episode, I figured I'd throw it out there again. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did and have not done so already, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you in another episode of Hardcore, hopefully very, very soon. See you guys then. Peace.